I knew this was gonna happen. I know you don't like to drink, Michael, but you, your dad can make his own choices. After the accident, he said that that was it. Clean living. He wasn't gonna let alcohol hurt our family anymore. That lasted, what, three weeks? You have to understand that he was married to Shannon for 20 years. It's a hard thing to get over. Yeah, it's terrible. Now he's gonna make him dinner. I know he doesn't show it, but I think deep down, he feels the exact same way you do. No. No, this is how he's always wanted to act. You know, she was preventing him from being a lazy slob. And now he has the perfect excuse. My wife's dead. I hadn't talked to your dad in months before he called about the cabin. Is it really that bad? My mom died in a hit and run. My dad drank himself out of work and out of our house. Okay, I'm sorry. But today isn't how it's always gonna be. Have you looked at any colleges? <laughs> yeah, Dad says that we can't afford college. But that's okay, because, you know, I'll learn how to cook grits and hog tie squirrel, and really that's all the learning you need around here. You know, things have been going really well with the gym. I was thinking about maybe asking your dad about you moving in with me for a while. There's schools around my place. You can hang out with kids your own age. Maybe we can even set up a student loan with my bank. Really? Yeah. Like, I know, I know that things are never gonna be the same now that your mom's gone. But I want you to have as normal of a life as possible. He'd never go for it. Oh, no, until we ask. 